to sharing life issues with Her Excellency Haji Ami. Welcome to Itam Ayegidi, La Marine Junior Nagaskia, Akukondu Madu, Real Life Story. I hope everybody is doing well today. Kindly click on the subscription button if you've not subscribed already. Also, do not forget to click on the notification button so that when I drop educative posts, you would be the first one to be notified or when I'm YouTube live. Thank you. I do really appreciate you coming over here to always watch and listen to me. I am humbled and grateful. Thank you. Jazakallahu khaira, mudukbe, eshonga, nagodi, dalu, shukran. Thanks again. All right. Today's story, we will be talking about a message we got from our inbox. And I'll go ahead and read the story to you because I want to read it word for word. Thank you. Two years ago, I called a man repairing air conditioners. After seeing his number on the wall of my estate's gate, I called severally, but he didn't pick my calls. I was discouraged, believing he wasn't serious as that was what it seemed. Later that evening, another number called me and hinted that I had called his other line several times in the morning and asked me where I got his number from. I gently explained to him as he insisted he wasn't going to come do the installation for me if I didn't. So I told him that it was at the gate of my estate in Lukujoma that I saw his number before he became convinced to come. I, on the other hand, had just bought this property in Lukujama. Initially, stayed in the suburbs area of Abuja and because of traffic needed to move to town, hence the purchase of that property, reason I needed an artesian from within. The man, an elderly person, eventually came the next day to install all my air conditioners. After seeing how the other workers were being treated by the maid who gave everyone food and refreshment, as I had ordered her, I jokingly asked why he was so skeptical to pick my call or if it was because he had too much work. He responded that he recently had an experience at airport junction in Abuja. A number called him and he went to meet the person as agreed at the airport junction. He got there, met the man and got in the car with his orderlies. When they got towards Duonami's church, Lube Road, he was ordered to come down. Then a big van pulled up and he was pushed into the vehicle. They were armed with military uniforms and he was helpless. Inside the van, he found that they were almost 20 workers, like him, blindfolded. And they were all jam-packed like sardines. They kept going till they reached a place that he recalled was a bridge turning to Kuje Junction. Albert, he couldn't see and he wasn't entirely certain because the van was closed. After driving on for a while, they drove into a compound and the van was opened and all of them were let out. He said he thought they wanted to be used for rituals, purposes, but to his amazement, he found that the other guys too were artisans and laborers. The house was massive and soldiers who came with them began to ask who and what each person's skill was. He was told he had to instill 20 aces before the end of the day, all new in the cartons. The laborers were told to cast a pillar at the entrance of the house. This is a house that has been fully built and completed. What was the need? 
when they were about to start working young girls appeared apparently students were brought and tied to each pillar and casted alive as they mixed the concrete only their eyes could be seen now, come on. he cannot forget they cried their eyes out while surrounded by guns soldiers and didn't have any strength left to cry hmm the artisans believed such faith too with before them so they all resigned to fate as their phones had already been taken from them they all walked around the clock till night each looking out for the other and at around midnight they were all blindfolded the same way they had come and dropped at airport junction with each thrown a bundle of money and their phones tossed back at them their captors left only one person had lose to lose the others before they drove off hmm Allah Akbar I do not know what to say I do not know what the world is turning into but this what I just read is seriously crazy I don't even want to go into the I have over over a hundred comments from our platform already this is scary this is scary the world is turning into something different I don't know what people are going after anymore we are rushing to get this money we are rushing to get all this material things forgetting that we all will die someday someday we would all go back to god because we are all passerbys here believe it or not we are all strangers here we only came for a visit so the sooner we start knowing that the better we'll start leaving be kind be nice and if you cannot be nice at least do not harm people look at those people now they only went out there to look for their daily bread something that they could feed their families with and unfortunately God with that misfortune they got picked up look at the girls I do not want to judge and say maybe they were prostitutes or how do they get them I do not know sometimes people do hookups so to you all that do hookup hookup is like girls you know parading around with men for money you have to be careful this happened in Nigeria in Abuja in the city in the capital city of Nigeria imagine that somebody is alive and they're cementing them you're already dead <laughs> I don't even know how that feels but you're alive and it's like they're cementing you to a wall or something Allah Akbar humans are really indeed very wicked these days may the Almighty Allah may the Almighty God continue to protect you and I would I say those people have not prayed would I say that they were not careful no they are they do trust me you listen to this song that I always play before I start my show sometimes is a Yoruba music ask people who know me I don't just listen to music I listen to music that has meaning even when I dance to the English music it has to have a meaning I'm sending a message when I dance I send out messages with my dance when I listen to music and I post them I'm sending a message so let's know and have peace let's know that and have peace let's try to make sure that everything we do we do with the fear of God it says there is no one that the evil people cannot get it's only Allah, it's only the Almighty God that can rescue us. Even sometimes, no matter how you pray, you can fall into their hands. Would I say God is not with us? Or would I say Allah is not with you? No, He is. 
sometimes he just lets you go through that trial. Probably all those people that they pushed out of the truck. It's another chance that the Almighty Allah, the Almighty God, is giving them to go back and worship Him. He made that happen so they could know that He still existed. So, I'm not going to say so much, but I want to say we all need to be careful. And also, no matter how careful we are, we need to keep praying. And if we have people that are doing this, I'm begging you, it's not too late to repent. I'm preaching to you. I might be a woman, but I'm a mother. I'm a queen. I'm Queen Amina. They call her Her Excellency. Yes, this is the queen mother of the space. And I'm using my voice. As I always advise you all to use your voice to beg you. Usually I do not beg perpetrators. But for today, what I read, I'm begging you. Stay away from harming people. When you harm one person, sometimes you harm a lot of people. Think about it. All of these people have maybe kids, families, people that benefit from them. And it might even be that people that they help. So please, let's be kind. Jazakallah khtera. Thank you for always coming here to this space to watch me. Please do leave your comments down below. Like I said, I'm not going to go into my platform to read the comments. But give me a thumbs up if you do like all my videos. And also, do write your comments down. If you do have any suggestions, our email is on the link on our YouTube channel. Kindly send me an email. If you do have all the real life stories, feel free to send it to our email also. Or you can go to the links and go to our other platforms on Instagram or Facebook and send those true life stories to me. Also, I know I've been having a lot of people asking about our WhatsApp group. Our WhatsApp group is only by invite. I'm so sorry. We're still looking into putting more people into it. We'll let you know. Thank you again. Jazakallah khaira. I really appreciate you. Again, I'm very humbled and grateful for the love. And uh, have a good one. Peace out.